everyone. My name is Dr. Amy Lee, and I'm the Chief Medical Officer at Lindora Clinic. The ketogenic diet is getting lots of attention these days because it's a proven and effective way to lose weight and live a healthier lifestyle. But with so many people shouting keto from the rooftops, how can you possibly know what plan to follow? Well, I have some tips that can help. First, you need to understand exactly what keto is. Ketogenic diets are eating plans that put your body into a metabolic state called ketosis, where your body burns stored fat for fuel rather than glucose, which is typically provided by carbohydrates. By reducing your carbohydrate intake over a period of time, your body shifts into ketosis and burns stored fat for energy, and then weight loss typically follows. There are lots of variations of keto eating plans that allow your body to get into ketosis. Some are based on high-fat diets, some incorporate moderate proteins, and some even include fasting. When choosing a ketogenic eating plan, I always recommend the following. Number one, avoid eating plans that focus on extremes. Any plan that radically restricts your calorie intake is not healthy. Avoid zero carb plans or those that severely restrict your daily calories. Also, stay away from plans that promise uber quick weight loss results. These are not good roadmaps for healthy living. Choose plans that focus on creating healthy eating habits that can last a lifetime. Number two, choose a more balanced eating plan that incorporates a variety of foods. Be wary of plans that only focus on one or two food groups. Instead, look for plans that include a variety of different foods to ensure you're getting the macronutrients from things like proteins, fats, and complex carbohydrates, along with the micronutrients your body needs like vitamins and trace minerals. Number three, pick a plan that has you eating on a regular schedule. The answer to losing weight is not starving yourself. Find a plan that allows you to establish a regular eating schedule where you're eating every couple of hours. You can control your calorie and carbohydrate intake by modifying portion sizes and choosing foods that are high in proteins and good fats and low in simple carbohydrates. Number four, consult a physician before starting any ketogenic diet. This may be the most important piece of advice I can offer. Everybody is different, and we all respond differently to different types of food. You'll want to make sure to discuss your eating plan with a medical professional who, through lab work and exams, has an informed understanding of your particular nutritional needs. These four tips can definitely steer you in the right direction when you're considering a ketogenic diet. I'm Dr. Amy Lee of Lindora Clinic, and I encourage you to eat better, move more, and stress less. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for other informative videos. And for more information about Lindora's ketogenic eating plans, as well as other healthy lifestyle content, visit us at our website at lindora.com.